Hey friends, today I'm hanging out at Universal Studios Orlando. It is spring break, so the crowds are gonna be super busy, but I wanted to come out because it was a beautiful day, maybe ride some rides, eat some food, and definitely get some drinks. So, let's go do this. I guess it's a good sign seeing this many people leaving the park, but I'm sure there's a lot more people inside the park. Regardless of the wait times and how busy the parks are, this weekend or this week has just been so beautiful. And it kind of just makes you want to get out and go to a theme park. You know what I mean? You ever get those feelings where you're just like, man, I'd love to go walk around a theme park. I definitely had that feeling today. And even though we know that it's very crowded and the wait times are going to be extremely long, I want to try to show you guys that you can make the best of the day even during the busiest times of the year. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to ride all the best rides or have the coolest experiences, but I am going to make the best of what we got. Like, you know what I mean? We know it's crowded. We know there's ways around actually beating those crowds. There's attractions you can do that don't have long waits, and there's experiences that people just don't know about. So, I figured today would be a perfect opportunity just to have a relaxing day at Universal Studios on a busy week. And since it's actually still Mardi Gras, you can catch beads. You caught some beads. A proper start to the day is definitely a quick pit stop into Finnegan's to grab ourselves some fuel. Fuel to fuel us through the park. And Finnegan's is the best spot for it, in my opinion. Luckily, the grab and go section is open. There's normally a line, but not today. Lucky us. This is especially a good time to come because it is St. Patrick's Day weekend and you know, I already celebrated at Raglan Road so why not come over here to my second favorite little Irish spot. And because we're dealing with large crowds, there is a little secret alleyway over here. Well, it's not really a secret, but it's a good spot to get out of the crowd so you can take your mask off, drink your beer without uh, actually being crowded by a bunch of people. I love it back here. We got the whole alley to ourselves. We get to listen to some music and just relax and enjoy a harp on St. Patrick's Day weekend. It's very hard to find like this empty space on the busiest week at the parks. So that's why I appreciate it so much. So far only about three people have walked through but I think they were just confused. If you've hung out here before, you know what I'm talking about. It's nice to just get get tucked away a little bit. We're gonna move out of our little alleyway there and try to explore around and see if we can get on a ride, depending on the wait times though. Because like I said, I know it's already gonna be busy, but there are a select few attractions that even with our express pass, I know that we could probably get on fairly quickly. So we'll test out and see which ones those are. Fast and Furious Supercharge definitely is not one of them. A 100 minute wait. I don't know if I can ever condone the fact of waiting 100 minutes for Fast and the Furious. I mean, it's an okay ride, but 100 minute wait, I mean, I would much rather get in line for like Ringrots or something like that. Crazy. I think we will check to see what the wait time is for Men in Black. Hopefully it's not too long of a wait, and we're gonna use our Express Pass, but this is a ride I've been really wanting to ride for, for some reason, I don't know why. I absolutely love all these posters they have inside the queue here. The universe and you. What do they eat? What do they want? It was a 60 minute wait. And because of our express pass, we got on with just a five minute wait, mainly because they have their own loading sign. So this is the standby and then the line that we're in is express. It actually has its own loading station. So that's what makes it quick. This is not a drill. Eric 
America came up with the win at the last second. But it was really cool that we got on within five minutes and their queue is like one of the more preferable queues for uh, Express Pass. I highly recommend, if you only got a day or two here, get an Express Pass, especially during the peak season. It went from a 60 minute wait to a five minute wait. That's pretty impressive. Some rides though are just not as lucky. Like for instance, the Simpsons ride, right now it's set at a 95 minute wait. But if you were to use your express pass on this, you would still be waiting probably 30, 35 minutes. And that is like way too long for the Simpsons. People ask me all the time, what like rides can you handle with the screens? And I can honestly say the Simpsons screen ride is probably the worst. Like right up there with the Arctic uh, ride at SeaWorld, it's really tough. So if you're motion sensitive and you don't like screens, that is definitely a no-go for you. Trust me. But it does have one of the best bars actually in this area. I love stopping in the Moe's to get a Duff and even a flaming Mo. There's Barney. It is so cool in here. The Flaming Mo is a non-alcoholic beer, but the Duff beer is actually like beer beer. And you can watch Simpsons like reruns on the TVs. Kind of just like how the TV would be in Moe's. And it's just a really cool atmosphere. Sometimes it gets very crowded inside Moe's, but right outside Moe's, there's a little secret spot that I like to go to get away from the crowds. All the hustle and bustle is up there and hardly nobody down here. Nice and relaxing and you get to just kind of hang out with the ducks and have a good time and look at the birds. Doesn't that duck look so majestic the way it's going through the water with the sun reflecting and all? It also has amazing music down here. You would think it would be like a Simpsons music, but it's not. It's just really chilled and relaxed. And today's such a beautiful day. I see a duck creeping up on me. I get very nervous. So I like looking at the camera. I can see it was gonna creep up behind me. I see you ducks. I love you, dragon. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> look at this view though. Isn't it amazing? Get to get a grand look at all of Universal Studios and that helicopter in the sky. Time to move along though, and I think we're gonna maybe loop around Springfield and see what's happening on the other side there. It's very, very busy today, but like I said, the important thing is to make the best of it, to make the best of the day that you got, whatever circumstances they may be. Maybe a quick walk through Central Park. It's a nice night for a walk. Mind if I join you? <laughs> it's so beautiful over here, isn't it? Honestly, I don't spend much time walking through Central Park. Usually I only come over here to watch the uh, Universal Cinematic Spectacular, but it's so beautiful. Nice little walk. I mean, it's not like the Central Park, but I kind of enjoyed this. Now I think we're actually going to head on over to Islands of Adventure, the other park here at Universal Studios. And because it's a very busy weekend or week, they actually have the walkway open so we can just kind of like hop over there very quickly. But on our journeys over, we notice Universal Studios are bust and Homer's out saying hi to people. Oh well, look at it, he's dancing. <laughs> The Homer dance. The walkway is located right next to Despicable Me, so you don't actually have to go out to City Walk and like make your whole entire way over. They have a little sign directing, but this is only if you have the park hopper. You can see the sign is right here. It tells you, Islands of Adventure. And we're actually gonna turn right down here, and we're gonna go into like a little backstage area, but we are gonna have to scan our tickets. And look at Despicable Me. Holy moly, a hundred minute wait. That is insane. This is a good ride, especially for the kiddos, but these wait times are very, very long. Look at this, time to cross over. I like how they say that. Are you crossing over? Hello. Thank you. Good to go. And now we're gonna continue right on into Islands of Adventure. And I think it'll take us out uh, by Seuss Landing. It's really fancy. You've never been back I've here never before. Been back here. I'm excited. Yeah. 
she's never done Halloween Horror Nights either, so she doesn't know about all the backstage oh, fun. Like the yeah, the not so Halloween Horror Nights. I think we're gonna hop in line for the Cat in the Hat ride. Now, I haven't actually been in the Cat in the Hat ride for quite some time, and I don't think I'm allowed to film, so we'll wait and see, but I'm gonna check to see what the wait time is and how quick it would be for us to get on with our Express Pass. So it looks like it's a 10 minute wait, but we are still gonna use our Express Pass. This is one of those rides where I absolutely love it. If you like dark rides like Snow White and uh, the Haunted Mansion, you'll probably like this ride. It's also Erica's first time riding this ride. <laughs> You're gonna love it. Look how sad they look, and they actually look worried because their parents are gonna come home at any second, and we know what kind of mess the cat in the hat made. Then the cat came right in. He was up to no good, so we ran after him just as fast as we could. Not enough. We looked and we saw him, the cat in the hat. Next cat can't go away. You do not want to play. He should not be about when your mother is out. Why, we can have lots of good fun if you wish. What a game that I want. I want a lot with a fish. Look at me. Look at me. I'm the cat with a cup and a cake on the top of my hat. <laughs> This mess? Said the cat in the hat. I always pick up my playthings, and so I will show you another food freak that I know. That was so much fun and it literally was a no man away. It was a walk on actually and I don't know why I said Haunted Mansion. I would more put this like a Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, Snow White, like a classic little dark ride. Very fun. It's definitely a treat. It is really awesome that the parks are both open till 10 o'clock. Recently we've been seeing like the park closing around like 5 and 6 o'clock so we get to enjoy the best of both parks. I think a good pit stop up to the annual pass holder preferred dining area above Confisco's. Maybe we can catch uh, the Velociraptor coaster running. I love it in here, it's very cool. Oh, gotta sanitize. Thank you. You're very welcome. Fancy. Gotta climb up the steps. And here it is. Look at how nice it is up here, right? Yeah. And you take a look down from here. That's where we just walked in. The cat in the hat. Fancy that. You can either dine inside or outside. We're definitely gonna dine outside because it's a beautiful view from up here. This is the inside dining area. And it's actually all decorated for Mardi Gras at the moment. But outside, just can't beat that view. Get a little Velociraptor coaster right there. Oh, I love it. Take a look at the menu. You gotta scan here. And they've got some really, really good food. Udon noodle bowls, sweet and sour sticky ribs, chilled tuna noodle bowl. But honestly, I wanna see what they got for drinks as well. Because I know they have some special drinks here. Oh yeah, we got the bourbon. Jim Beam bourbon. Then they have Coca-Cola cranberry juice, what? And then a watermelon lemonade, the Confisco's margarita, mornings in Bali. These were all very fancy. Oh, and just as we were sitting here, it looks like the Velociraptor coaster is testing at the moment. So we're gonna be able to see it make that beautiful loop right now. And here it goes, look at that. Wow. It would have been nice if the Hulk actually went at the same time. I think since we're up here in this fancy little dining area, I might try something new. Maybe a little Pad Thai. Now, I've had Pad Thai before, um, and I think I liked it a lot, so I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. You really can't judge something after you've only eaten it once because different places make like a certain entree a different way, so we'll just see. We're just gonna wing it. Wow, and here is a look at my pad thai. This is something else, I would say. I was not expecting all of this. Very, very fancy. 
Oh, I'm excited to try this pad thai actually. Got a little shrimp, a little bit of chicken, a little bit of the noodles, and oh yeah. I really, really like the chicken on here and the shrimp. The noodles, I don't know, they're not like the same noodles that I got before with my pad thai that I had just that one other time, but they're due, they're good. Also to go along with my pad thai, I got an orange blossom pilsner. And I like these cups, they're like little fancy cups. Very delicious. But with that delicious quick snack, I think we're gonna move along and take a look at the sunset happening right now. Right over Hogsmeade right there. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, I love it. Now I think we're gonna head back into Seuss Landing. And I wanna do the train ride because I was really, really happy with the way the sunset was looking. So I think that if we do Seuss's like train ride, we're gonna get some amazing views of the Hogwarts castle. And I'm excited for that, trust me. Just look at how beautiful that is. And it's gonna look even better from this track right there. Wait time says 25 minutes, but looks like with the express pass, we're gonna walk right on. Oh, and there it goes. It actually might shock you to know that we've only been here for two and a half hours. So two and a half hours, we've already rode three rides, had three different drinks and a sit down dinner. I feel like that's very successful on what is the busiest week of like all. Oh, I'm so excited to see. Hopefully we caught this beautiful sunset. G is for green, but we'll get to that. Oh, cotton candy skies right ahead. That's right, the hat of the cat. Or maybe just for the old hip, hooray. Do that all day. Look at that. is for icing on top of a cake. And J is for jumping right into a lake. At the new Magoo Zoo, you'll find King Kerchoo. Lord, you know, did you happen to see a sign for a village called MNOP? O is for opposite. North and south going Zaxes. Stubbornly stopped, unbudged in their tracks. P is for perfect. A day at the beach. That was beautiful, and we were able to catch that like cotton candy, golden hour sky. I loved it. It's always such a fun little ride. It's like the people mover of Universal Studios, I feel like. <laughs> Starting to get a little bit dark out. We could see the fire is turned on. I'm excited to just hang out over here though. And it's gonna be nice to see it at night. I haven't been over at Universal Studios or Islands Adventure at night for quite some time now. We're gonna proceed right into Hogsmeade. We're gonna check on uh, Hagrid's, but if Hagrid's isn't actually, you know, fully at capacity, then maybe a little bit of ride on my uh, favorite ride here, the Flight of the Hippogriff. I love it. I love the Flight of the Hippogriff. Oh, very, very crowded. But it's okay because in the previous video, if you guys seen when I came here and ate at Mythos, I do have a secret spot where you can get out of the crowds here too. So I like showing you guys like where people get full of anxiety because I know a lot of people that really don't like walking through these crowds like this. And I know how it is, so that's why I like to show you these little spots. It looks like Hagrid's is at capacity, so no more virtual lines and not letting anyone go into the standby. So maybe we'll actually just pop in, grab a drink, and uh, hang out at one of my little favorite corner spots over here to get away from these crowds. I love all the different beers they have in here. And normally I get the Deathly Hollows, but they're out. So I'm gonna get Hogshead only. Now we're gonna take our beers to our little hideaway spot over here and just enjoy a little bit of the sounds from Honey Dukes. Ooh. Got our own little Honey Duke spot. Sometimes people like to leave little gifts in the back here. And look at that. I think we have, I think we found something here. Look at that. Yay, you found me. I am a hidden treasure for you to keep or rehide. Your choice. Post a picture to the Facebook group universally crafted or you rocks when found and have a magical day. How awesome is that? 
Should we hide it or keep it? Let's hide it. Let's hide it. Yes. We're going to reshare the magic here. <gasps> Erica found another one. <gasps> Look at this. Congratulations. You found a wand. May it help you hone your magical studies. This is yours to keep or rehide, whichever you decide. It's like we're in Seuss Landing again. Yep. We have to rehide it. Please post a picture on Facebook. Oh, this is great. Super cute. I don't know if you're gonna hear an echo or not, but we're just sitting down, drinking our beers and relaxing. We found some wands and I think we're gonna actually hide them, but I wanna hide them very difficultly. So if you guys actually end up coming to Islands of Adventure and if you find these wands, please tag it in the Facebook group that's on the uh, little paper, but also please send me a message. You can send it on Instagram or on Facebook or even comment here, because I would love to see if one of you guys actually found it. That would be really nifty. Okay, so Erica's gonna go back here and hide one of the wands. Hopefully this is gonna be a good spot. Yes. Okay, good, good. Yes, that's a good spot. And this is right outside Three Broomsticks. So if you end up finding that on the other side of three broomsticks, there's like a little, a little tiny narrow pathway, then let us know, let us know. And then the other one is actually going to be right here in the exit of Hagrid's. Yep. Oh, that's a good spot. No one's going to find it there. Now I think we're going to move along and if you can't hear the sound, you can try to guess where we're going next, or right next to Hogsmeade. I mean, everybody knows the path. We gotta go back over to Jurassic Park now. I absolutely just love walking through these archways. I have no idea why. It just sends like such euphoria through my body. I'm like, Jurassic Park. And there it is. Velocicoaster Summer 2021. So fancy, isn't it? I am super excited for the Velocicoaster. It just says summer 2021, so we don't really have an opening day, but hopefully soon. I mean, I'm really excited. There's a lot of great new rides coming to Walt Disney World and Universal Studios. Which one are you guys most like excited for? You know what I mean? You got Ratatouille, Guardians, Tron, Velocicoaster. A lot of good things happening here in Orlando. I think we're gonna actually go on Spider-Man. It's only a 25 minute wait and I bet you we can get on Express in like under 10 minutes. Earlier, I might have mentioned like if you don't like screen rides, you would hate The Simpsons. But I think this is one of the better screen rides. It's very, very good and not too like, you don't get too nauseous, not at all. I do feel like they need to update their office space though. Definitely in the early 90s. Oh. Yeah. Excellent. And with my anti-gravity cannon, even Spider-Man won't be able to stop me. That was so much fun. I absolutely love it. And with that, I think I am done here for today. We're gonna see Hulk take off in the background and pick the perfect spot. But we had so much fun. I got a lot accomplished and we've only been here for, I think, uh, four hours total. So we got to ride, I think, four rides. We got to have a couple of drinks, meet some characters, and also sit down and dine at a very nice restaurant. I feel like that's a successful day at Universal Studios during spring break. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye! And it looks like a very big crowd working their way out of Universal Orlando for the night.